this is a perfect moment. Thank you all welcome. It's a perfect moment for many reasons, but especially because I've been inspired to say a gigantic prayer. I've been roused by your gorgeous kundalini to unleash a divinely greedy, apocalyptically healing prayer for each and every one of us here in the room, even those of us who don't believe in the power of prayer. Amen. You prefer a women. So I'm starting to pray right now to the God of gods, to the God beyond all gods, to the girlfriend of God, <laughs> to the teacher of God, to the goddess who invented God. Dear goddess, I pray that you will be here with us tonight. Come into us with your sly, slippery, slap happy mojo. <laughs> Invade us with your silky, succulent, salty, sweet ha ha. <laughs> Work with us, goddess. Play with us, change with us, make love with us. Make life with us, make fun with us. Hear with our ears. Breathe with our lungs. See through our eyes. Bravo. Bravo. Viva. Viva. Aloha. Aloha. Blessed be. Blessed be. We are free. We are free. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. Dear goddess, you who never kill but only change. <laughs> Dear Goddess, please, I beg you, inspire my accidental, suave, electric words. <laughs> Have ferocious blessings shower down on everyone here tonight. I pray that you will give us what we don't even know we need. Not just the boons we think we want, but everything we've always been afraid to even imagine and ask for. Dear Goddess, you wealthy anarchist burning heaven to the ground. Some of the divine chameleons here tonight don't even know that our souls live forever. So please use your brash magic to help us see that we are all wildly creative geniuses, too big for our own personalities. Guide us to realize we're all completely different from what we have been led to believe and more exciting than we can possibly imagine and make it illegal, immoral, unpatriotic, irrelevant, and totally tasteless for us to be in love with anyone who is no good for us. <laughs> Goddess, you who give us so much love and pain mixed together that our morality is always on the verge of collapsing. I beg you to cast a boisterous love spell that will nullify all the bad ideas and dumb decisions that have ever cursed all of us wise and sexy virtuosos. <laughs> Remove, banish, annihilate, and laugh into oblivion any jinx that clings to us no matter how long we've suffered from it, and even if we have become accustomed or addicted to its ugly companionship. <laughs> Conjure an aura of protection around us so that we get an early warning if we're ever at risk of bringing another curse into our lives in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Your God is, you sly universal virus with no fucking opinion. <laughs> In 
inspire us all to be crazy enough, to be disciplined enough, to be crazy enough, to be disciplined enough, to be crazy enough to do the right thing no matter what gets into our way, except if there's no way to do the right thing, and then please help us do the half right thing. <laughs> Your God is you, you surprising agent of unpredictability. Teach us to know the difference between oppressive self-control and liberating self-control. Arouse the wild woman within us, even if we are men. <laughs> Dear Goddess, you pregnant slut who scorns all mediocre longing. Mm, mm, mm. I beg you to give us a license to bend or even break all rules, laws, and traditions that keep us apart from the things we love. Show us how to purge the wishy-washy wishes that distract us from our daring, dramatic, divine desire. And prove to us we can have anything we want if we will just ask for it in an unselfish way. If your God is you, psychedelic mushroom cloud at the center of all our brains, give us fistfuls of dollars to bestow upon the needy, bathtubs of holy water to wash away our grief. Give us donkey clown piñatas full of chirping crickets, parachutes for our dreams of falling and hammers made of gold. Give us green velvet band-aids to wear as fashion statements, an all-expense paid vacation to an orphanage in Greece. Give us protective gargoyles that scare away the monsters. Give us a moose cake baked in the shape of a giant question mark. <laughs> Give us lightning in a bottle to bestow upon the hopeless bouquets of tiger lilies and ruby slippers, too. Give us secret admirers who are not psychotic stalkers. <laughs> Give us solar powered sex toys that work even in the dark. Goddess, our prayer has been brought to you by the Gnostic Gospel of Thomas that reminds us that if you don't bring forth the genius that is within you, it will destroy you. Mm. But if you do bring forth the genius within you, it will free you. Now, I've got to get ready for another perfect moment here, so I don't, hope you don't mind if I change. <laughs> 